Hello, welcome to SwiftCat. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how we can animate text fields and button for iOS with language Swift. So this is for the latest version Swift and it will also support in the previous as well. So for that, we will go to our Xcode project and the scenes which I have priorly built in order to save the time. So this is uh, this is our my two scenes, and uh, I have on the first scene I have uh, four text fields as I click text field one two three four and a button. So I want to place some animation and uh, show in my device. For that, let's go to from main dot storyboard. I'm going to my uh, view controller dot file. So that's that's class which I have created already so in this one I need to put some IB outlets for my text field and button for that so I'm going to click on the each text fields and drag it over my V controller for IB outlets so this is for text field one text field two Text field three, Let, let's make a space for the IP outlets, enough space, and this is for the text field four. The last one, I want to create an IP outlet for my uh, button as well. I will name it as button all right that's the IB outlets before that uh, we will run and see what do we have right now so this is my C and if I click and if I go back just all the text fields and buttons remains the same all right so I want to try some animations over here for that I'm going to my view controller dot shift file which I've created my IP outlets under the view did load uh, I'm going to put some codes all right so let's say text field one dot animate with duration with duration 1.0 and delay I want to play 00, zero. using spring with pamping 1.0 Initial spring velocity. I'm going to place 1.0 options dot allow animated content. animations cell dot text field one dot center dot x equal to self dot view dot frame dot red into half of that one and uh, I want to play some anime uh, completion as well 
for that and I want to complete my animation after that so um, I will place animation completion nil and uh, you need to initialize uh, from which uh, portion of my uh, scene I have to start my animations for that I need to put text field one dot center dot x is equal to self dot view dot frame width that's a width which I'm using here to initialize my uh, animation actually so I want to close plus 50 so in the scene it's uh, if it's wide uh, need to use 50 for the previous devices and all those stuffs uh, we know to need a uh, uh, for 50 we will go for 30 for the previous uh, devices so now we'll use for 50 so this is text field one dot animate with duration one delay there is some error dot animate text field one uh, yeah it's actually we are going to animate our UI view all right so that's the correct one so text field dot sender dot x self with width 50 UI view animate with duration 1 delay 0 damping 1 initial velocity and I'm going to self with sender and the completion as well nil so this is for the text field 1 so I am going to copy that I'm going to do that for the second one so first I did for the text field one so now I'm going to do the for text field 2 just uh, I want to play some uh, duration delay for so I will put here a 2 with a duration I want to delay from the previous one this is for one second and this for 2 and uh, I will do for the same for the third text field and uh, name it on the text field 3 and uh, I will repeat the same I have here with duration 1 and with here for the text field with duration 2 so I want to place here with duration 3 the last text field as well I'm going to change the text field names and I want to place here for the text field 4 as duration 4 the reason why I'm doing this is if I put all the duration with 1 every text fields will come as a single line so i want to make it uh, each text wheels to come from the from width to the scene so that's why i'm delaying few dura durations and that's uh, all for my uh, text fields now we will do some animation for uh, ui button as well for that uh, i'm going to create ui view dot animate with with duration two point zero animate self dot button dot trans for equal to C G affine transform dot identity dot okay held by x with the uh, 0.6 y with us all 0.6 
I'm going to put completion after the action so let's do that I want to finish this animation in UI view dot animate with duration zero point two zero animations here I want to self dot button for the action button dot transform is equal to CG affine transform dot identity all right so that's for the button action I will make the screens more wide so you can see the actions which uh, I have gone over here so the for each text fields I place some animation and uh, for a button as well so let us uh, run and see what's going to happen for me what we have done all right screens building okay that's the animation actually okay I will click the registration and I am going back to the scene again why this animation is not coming when I am going back in the view did load you know I am uh, register I am clicking the button and when I am going back the same animation is not coming even though I have put my code in the view did load so for that if you want to play if you want to play the animation whenever you load your scene for that we need to put this this same code in our view will appear so override funk view will appear animated bool so super dot view will appear animated bool animated so what I'm going to do here is I'm just taking my codes from view did load and I want to place it under view will appear as you can see over here now we will build our xcode let's see what's going to happen okay you can see the text fields are animated and the button as well if I click on to the next view controller and if I am going back again the same scenes uh, all the text fields will appear animated as well okay all right so that's all for this so from this you can uh, animate all the text fields and button in your project as well thanks for watching thanks bye